Hello, this is Mr. McLeod, and I will be uh, doing a demo on how to draw uh, get levels uh, using 2D arrays. So we're going to start out uh, by just allow, uh, going over how to set the canvas size so that you can make your level whatever size you want. And that's as simple as just saying set size to whatever size you want. Let's say 400 by 400 so we can have a square instead of a rectangular level and if we ran that yeah we have a square okay so then to make a level we can represent it using a 2d array uh, let's call this level one equals and we start out with a empty array and if we were to just go like this and add elements uh, this is pretty familiar uh, but remember, these things could be anything. So what if they were arrays? In that case, you would have an array of arrays, which is what a 2D array is. Uh, and then uh, if we had elements inside each of these arrays, uh, if we wanted to access one of these elements, we would have to go to the array, we'd have to first access the array that contains that element and then access that element inside that array. So let's uh, go over a little bit more how that would work. Uh, so first of all, uh, JavaScript uh, will not care how you lay this out, uh, but the human eye would like it better if we made it look like a grid so then it would be really easy to talk about rows and columns and a little bit easier to visualize. Uh, okay, and that's how we're going to do it so that we will actually be able to draw our level in the code. Uh, so first, let's talk about rows and columns. So each of these arrays that is inside of the outer array is a row. So this would be like row 0, uh, row 1 and row two and then each of these items inside each row is in a different column right so column one i uh, said column zero uh, column one and column two so if we wanted to access uh, let's say we wanted to access this seven that's in row one and column two so we would say var uh, num equals uh, level one row one because we have to access this array and then the item in so then this is an actual array and then in that array we want to access the second item right so that's how row and then column uh, works so if we were to print this actually Let's just say print line level one uh, item at one, two, uh, that should be seven. So uh, first, let's get rid of these labels, though, because they will uh, throw errors. OK, so we ran that. We get seven. Yay. All right. So now that we can access things in a 2D array, uh, we could now make a start function that uh, calls a helper method that will draw this uh, what's in this 2d array uh, in uh, with rectangles right so that you have walls uh, so to do that we need a s system for representing walls so let's say ones are walls and zero means nothing's there and so let's say we had zeros everywhere except the top and the bottom row then uh, we would have something like this okay uh, so then let's make it so that it will draw that up here so we say function start draw level and we're going to pass it level one because this is going to take an array or a 2d array that represents whatever level we want to draw so we don't want to hard code it to always draw a certain level 
Uh, okay, so function draw level is going to take some array, 2D array that represents the level, and it will do a double for loop that goes through each row and column and either draws a wall or not. Okay, so for uh, now we could say for row equals zero row uh, less than uh, level one and then the number of rows is just the length of level one right so dot length uh, oops. and row plus plus okay and then for each row we will go through each item in that row so that would be uh, each column right so for var call equals zero call less than level one and uh, the current row that we're in dot length uh, row plus plus oh, whoops holy smokes don't do that call plus plus okay so now if we're looking at each row and each column uh, and then for each one if there's a one there we're going to draw a wall but if you look here at our helper method we would be kind of nice since we're drawing since we're using this 2d array to actually represent uh, x and y coordinates in a grid system uh, maybe we actually want to call our rows and columns x's and y's so in that case if you notice the rows are listed vertically here so the rows are like y's and the columns are horizontally so the columns are like x's so we could just change all these to y's and change all these to x's whoops this one was a y because that was a row and then does x okay then we could say hey if uh the item in level one at row y right because y was rows and then column x because x was the columns uh is one then draw a wall at x y and remember this x and y is actually a grid coordinate so when we make our draw wall function first thing we can do we'll call this gx and gy uh, is translate the gx the grid x and grid y into real x and y coordinates on screen so we could do that by saying all right x is whatever the grid x is times the size of each grid uh, which is they're each 10 by 10s or snake dim by snake dim so we should use snake dim not 10 since that's uh, more generalized uh, and then for y equals gy times snake dim okay and that should be pretty familiar from when you did uh, the food part of the snake game all right so now we have a uh, grid coordinate all right so we have sorry now we have real screen coordinates we can make our uh, uh, wall so wall equals new rectangle snake dim by snake dim okay and set the color to wall color all right, and we're just getting that from this constant I had up here. So that's wall color. And let's set position to the X and Y that we just calculated. And then we just need to add wall. All right, so if we ran this, it would call draw level passing the 2D array that is our level one. Uh, and then this would go through each oh whoops holy smokes that should be level 
not level one. Otherwise, if we tried to pass it a different level, it would say, nope, I'm going to draw level one. So change all these level ones to level because that's the uh, variable that really is the level in this method. Okay, uh, that would have been bad. All right, so now it's going to go through that 2D array and call draw wall on each item that is a one and so we'd have a wall there so let's run that hooray there's our uh, little wall up there and a wall down here so now this clearly isn't the entire level uh, well it could be but this would be a pretty lame level because it doesn't cover most of the screen so we want it to cover the whole screen so let's make this uh, continue one Okay, so to save a little time, here's what we get after some copy pasting. Uh, we got a 40 by 40 level filled with mostly zeros, but a wall at the top and a wall at the bottom. And you can visually see there's the wall and there's the wall. So if we ran this. Yay, there we got a wall on the top and the wall on the bottom. So if you wanted to add more... Uh, walls all over your level you just go where you want to draw it and just put little ones in place of the zeros and you can literally draw your level right here so let's say we wanted a room right here uh, we could just put walls kind of in a room shape and let's see there's like a door at the top and a door at the bottom uh, we ran that yay now we have a room and uh, so you can see we could put a little room in the corner here maybe there's like only one way in and it's like right at the wall so getting food in there would be a little tricky all right, so um, you guys can see where you can actually see the level here, and you can see uh, that this turns it into an actual level. That you, could, if you put the rest of your snake code into this code, you would have uh, a full snake game with at least one level, and you could add more levels as you go. I hope this helps you make a cool snake game. Enjoy.